Hello Stampers! This is Carolyn Service with O2Bstamping.com. Today I wanted to show you this little flower pot, pot card that you can put your sentiment on the inside. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Um, now I've made this as a Happy Mother's Day card because I just thought that would make a good card. You could even put a little pack of seeds in the back of it if you wanted to. Um, but you can also you don't have an occasion for a Mother's Day card, you could also make this a cute get well card. Or happy birthday, thinking of you, just about any sentiment that you wanted to put on it would work. So it's a pretty cute uh, and easy card to make. So let me show you how I did that. So I started out with a piece of cardstock. This one is uh, eight and a half by three and a half and it's a uh, Cajun craze. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and I'm going to score. Let's see if we can get this set up so you can see it. There we go. I'm going to use my scoring blade and I'm going to score this at Four, oh, let's start down here at one and a quarter and four and seven eighths. Okay. Then I'm going to actually put it through my big shot to add some texture. Um, this embossing folder, I believe, might actually be retired. It is retired, but we do have one in our current catalog called Tiny Triangles that I think would work well. Or you could just choose to not um, run it through an embossing folder and not have any texture to it at all. But if you wanted to, and I'm going to do that on this one, you're going to first fold it on the score lines. Use your bone folder to reinforce them and you're going to fold it so that it looks like so. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to put it in my embossing folder. I'm just going to put it in with all the layers folded up. Be right back. I'm going to run it through the big shot. Okay. Alright, so that's what it looks like with the texture on it. Then I'm also going to use a template that I made to cut it down to look more like a flower pot. I'm going to raise that up. I'm not going to cut that, just the pot itself. And then if you want to, you could also put some trim um, on your on the little lip here. Um, the punch that I used, again, we don't carry any longer. <laughs> Sometimes I hate it when they retire things, but the only, the only thing I like about them retiring things is that then we get new stuff. So I always like that part. So I'm just going to punch this out. I hope if you've been a Stamping Up customer for a while, you probably have this punch, or you may have one similar that you could use, or even maybe a um, framelit or thinlet that you can use with your big shot. This is called the scallop punch, by the way. Okay, so we're all ready with that. Um, I'm just going to put that aside for the moment and get some of the items ready for making the little tab pull out. Okay, so first I've got three colors for my flowers. So this is uh, Bermuda Bay, Watermelon Wonder, and Hello Honey. I'm going to use this stamp from my flower shop stamp set and the Pansy Punch. I'm going to stamp my flowers with Black Memento ink. And I found that it's easier if you find um, if you find on the punch which um, let's see how do I explain this which punch which leaf petal 
I'll get it right here in a minute, um, is going to be in this position. And then stamp that uh, same petal. Actually, I've marked mine. It says bottom so that you can punch it out easily and that it won't be skewed so that you can't actually get to it very well. So I'm going to stamp my three flowers, get this at the bottom, okay so I've punched, I mean stamped my flowers and place them in the punch and as I was saying this punch is set up to punch cert certain petals they're not all exactly the same so just know that that they can't just put these in any direction and have them come out sorry I'm Oh, I wasn't even on tape, I don't think. I'm noticing that I've got one a little bit close to the edge, so I'm trying to make up for that, which it's not working too good. Oh, but we're just going to go with it for now. I mean, I can hide it behind another flower. And Okay, so now I have my three flowers, and I also want to do two leaves. Um, my leaf is from the vintage leaf set, vintage leaves actually. I am going to stamp two of those. Whoops, wrong stamp. Um, oh. <laughs> it's a good thing it wasn't a snake, is all I can say. Okay, so I'm going to stamp two leaves. Okay, I'm going to use the Happy Mother's Day. That's out actually out of the Circle of Spring um, stamp set for Happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to put that on the Hello Honey. This is Mossy Meadow cardstock. Okay, put these aside. Alright, so I am going to need this little heart. This comes out of the um, Bear Hugs, Bear Hugs Framelits dies. You could use a punch if you have one, you know, whatever heart that you might have that'll work with this. Um, I'm actually going to take these and put them through my Big Shot. So I will be right back. Okay, I have all the components that I'm going to need. By the way, when I did that last um, run through my Big Shot, I used the magnetic platform, then my cutting pad, then the card stock, then the framelit, and then another cutting pad. So that's what they call the sandwich for that particular piece. Okay, now I am going to take two more pieces of card stock, Cajun Craze, very vanilla. The Cajun Craze measures four and a quarter by two and a quarter, and the Very Vanilla two by four. I'm going to simply attach these together. And of course you can write your sentiment, whatever it is that you want to write on there. Um, then I'm going to bring in an envelope because the trick to this is you don't want your flowers to be any higher than the envelope so that you can actually fit it in an envelope. Um, and actually before we do that I'm going to go ahead and attach the ribbon. So I have 15 inches of Hello Honey ribbon. 
I am going to bring around the card. Now it's going around the entire card. This is the only thing that holds this card together. There's no glue. And I'm simply going to tie this in a knot, which my finger slipped, so hopefully this is going to be all right. Not too bad. Okay, so as I was saying, it goes around the entire card. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim this up. Okay, now I want to actually insert this into the pocket and I'm going to run two lines of adhesive to the area that sticks out. Okay, then I'm uh, going to add my flowers Actually, going to put this one down second. I'm going to put this one down first now that I think of it because where I stamped it, where uh, I was telling you earlier, uh, had cut off a little bit. I want to be able to kind of hide that, so I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put this one here. Actually, I think I'm going to put a leaf in here. I'll hide that. You want to try to hide all of the background there, so we'll put. Oops. We'll put this leaf there. We'll put this here. Okay. I'm trying to find the combination that's going to cover up that vanilla. All right, that should work. And then, um, last but not least, um, There. Last but not least, we're going to add this flower. Now, this oh, I need a dimensional. Put that right in the center. We're going to cover that up right there, and I think I'm going to add one more leaf. Get it right here. flower sticks out a little far. I might want to try to push that back in just a little bit. There we go. Well, <laughs> I guess it's not going to go in any further. So, I think that's going to, oh here, maybe we can get this one to come out a little bit. Oh there, that's better. Yeah like that a little better. Put the leaf tuck under that little blue flower. There we go. Okay, happier with that. Then you're going to just insert this in here. Again, make sure that your flowers aren't sticking out too far, that it'll still fit in the envelope. And then you're going to add your um, sentiment Happy Mother's Day, get well, anything, love you. Actually, in the Bear Hugs uh, stamp set that matches this Bear Hugs framelit, there is uh, actually a stamp in there that says love you as well. So that's kind of cute. So there you are. Nice spring, fun, and joyful card. So I hope you like that. If you did, I hope it, you'll subscribe to my YouTube video. Leave me a little comment and come back and visit often. Again, my name is Carolyn Service with O2Bstamping.com. Thanks for stopping by.